We know that Skylab is no more. America's first space station crashed to Earth in 1979. But why didn't NASA try to save it? Well, the agency did, but it didn't exactly work out. We're looking at that story today on Vintage Space. In 1974, it looked like Skylab's remaining nine-year lifetime would be plenty of time for NASA to figure out exactly what to do with its first space station. But it was a bit of a rough time for NASA. Budgets were shrinking and the space shuttle program was falling behind schedule. But in early 1977, the Orbiter Enterprise was ready for approach and landing tests, and NASA started to think about what missions the shuttle would eventually fly. And foremost on that list was saving Skylab. Headquarters directed studies into this Skylab rescue mission. Houston, for one, wasn't exactly sold on the feasibility of actually docking with a dormant space station. The Johnson Space Flight Center was seemingly unoptimistic. It anticipated not being able to launch this mission until late 1979. And there was a problem with this date. Not only would Skylab's orbit have decayed significantly by 1979, 1980 and 1981 were a period of solar maximum. The solar flares expected to come from the sun and just the increased solar activity were expected to heat the Earth's atmosphere significantly enough to expand the upper atmosphere such that it would drag on the station even more. Time for Skylab was fast running out. In March of 1977, NASA headquarters officially approved the Skylab rescue mission and gave September 1st of that year as the go-no-go -no -go date. This would give NASA exactly two years to develop the hardware and methods methods to rescue Skylab using the shuttle. But in spite of a $1.75 million contract the Marshall Space Flight Center awarded Martin Marietta to develop the hardware for this autonomous docking and the boosting system to get Skylab into a higher orbit, progress wasn't swift. Not only was NASA falling behind schedule, but more information on the upcoming solar maximum promised that it would be far worse, meaning far more powerful, than anyone had anticipated. It was doubtful that Skylab would be able to stay in orbit long enough for a delayed shuttle rescue mission. Ultimately, these plans to rescue Skylab were never formalized and never really given a strong chance at success. So Skylab was, in essence, forgotten and left to just decay in orbit. It's really too bad. Skylab was kind of awesome. What do you guys think might have happened had NASA been able to save Skylab, boosting it to a higher orbit and prolonging its life? I know this is conjecture, but I still want to hear what you guys think. Let me know in the comments below, and of course, leave me your Skylab and other space-related questions in the comments as well, and I will do my best to answer as many as I can as best I can. And of course, for Vintage Space content every single day of the week, follow me on Twitter's AST Vintage Space, and with new episodes going up Tuesdays and Fridays, subscribe right here so you never miss an episode.